So now we've pretend we've got a tail, pretend we've got an abdomen, and at this point what we've got is dubbing, a post, and hackle. And you've got this little naked part of the hackle stem left when you did your preparation, and that needs to be naked because when you pull it up to begin with, your first move is up. You don't want any hackle barbs flaring off yet. So at this point, I'm still wrapping with just the bare stem. And just now, right there, was the first barb that actually flared off. That'll be good. If you get your first wrap good, everything else is easy. It'll want to, by the nature of, of the hackle, it'll want to stay parallel, and that's what you're looking for. So just keeping some good tension on that. Under under, under, under. Now, how many wraps of hackle do you actually need or want for your particular fly? I vary mine according to what water I'm going to be fishing it in. If it's going to be some slack water, pools, uh, spring creek, something like that where you get in some very technical fishing, very fussy fish, you're going to have fewer wraps. It works out to be, with good quality hackle, it works out to be about four turns. Uh, for a spring creek or something flat water. If you're going to be in heavy water, maybe you're fishing the Madison out west or a number of other white water, pocket water type fisheries, then you're going to want to add more hackle and it usually works out to be six turns as a general rule of thumb. To tell you whether you've got too much hackle, when you start going under for about your last turn and your barbs start to flare up, kick up like that one is right there, that means you've got too much. So you're going to back off one. You want to try to keep this on an even plane. Uh, in order to combat that, what you can do is to tip ever so slightly your post forward, and then you can sneak another one under there. Now in the front, we'll tip this back and sneak another one under there. And if you'll notice this time, none of those hackle barbs stood up. So there's a couple little tricks you can do to keep your hackle in a nice plane. People ask oftentimes which way do you tie your hackle in. I always tie it in with shiny side up. That way if the hackle tips are bound uh, to tip down a little bit that would be certainly better flotation than if they're if they're pointing up. So you want you want your hackle if anything the tips to point down. Now to tie this off and this is, uh, this is the part where people struggle. I'm going to keep tension on my hackle so everything is very durable. And we're going to slip this thread over this hackle stem and under these. Let's go over the hackle stem and it's going to go between the hook shank and the parachute. Oftentimes you'll see people pull this back in order to get this done. I don't like that. I want to leave the hackle in the preferred position. So we've got good tension. I'm going over this hackle stem, but under the